Uh, oh, hey, they're having a little party in here. Look at this. All right, let's talk to them. Let's mingle, if you will. All right, what's your what's your hint? And you say that red should be shot second. So what's our hint so far? Yellow, red. Yellow, red, and last is blue. Okay. And how about you? Man, you better not just tell me that there's arrows above my head, because I know that there's arrows above my head, and you can't just tell me that there's arrows above my head, because that's the most obvious thing ever. Yellow should be shot fourth? Okay. So, yes. And, by the way, the code, or, like, the colors that they're referring to are obviously these things. They're just so vibrant, like, how could you miss them? Uh, why is this room lit differently than the other ones? Alright. And, green should be shot third, so... We've got yellow, oh, uh, what was it, yellow, red, green, yellow, and then something blue. Alright, let's see, what do you got? What you got? Uh, yellow, red, so yellow, red, green, yellow, red, blue. Is that it? I'm not sure. Uh, if worse comes to worse, I can just guess and check. Alright, I think you actually have to do... Sh you actually have to do shoot with these with arrows. You can't just do it with the hook shot. So, yellow, red, green, yellow. Oh, what was the fifth one? What was the fifth one? Red. Sweet. Blue. Awesome. Can't believe I actually remembered that. I thought I was going to forget that for sure. Screw it up somehow. And in here, there's not actually a sculpture, though. Well, there is, but not the kind that we're looking for. But there is something else here. It is... Oh my god, Link's on fire. And <laughs> Ew! He's standing inside the dead sculpture, though. That's horrible. But we got a heart piece, so it makes up for it. Collected two so far, have I? Oh yeah, I collected that one in the graveyard. That's right. Duh. Yeah, so there's actually a heart piece hidden in here, believe it or not. One of the most crazy places you could ever hide a harpies. Alright. Oh, I don't want to target you. <laughs> okay. I'll just kill you epically. And I take it you can shoot down these paintings too. Oh, oh hey. First try. What do you know? First try. Biznotch. And get you. What the hell? Why did... It just like took me right out of the hookshot screen here. I don't know why it doesn't normally do that. Uh, you know, I might as well not just not shoot down the rest of these paintings because there's probably only going to be one behind one anyway. It's just like in the library room. All right. Oh, there we go. Always hiding them up in the rafters. Yeah. Once you find the first one up in the rafters, you're just going to be looking at those constantly because you know that they're going to be hiding some more. Hey, there's three up in there. How do you get those? What? Uh huh. Is this one? Is this? No, stop doing that. Is this like the uh, freaking tree one in the other one, and you have to roll into something? Oh, there you go. Just roll into the table somehow, and that knocks them down. Oh man, you can't use the same trick twice, even if it is in two different places, two different sculptural houses. Man. Jeez, I thought this was going to be hard, dude, but they're just, like, reusing all the same kinds of hiding spots and not doing any ingenuity or anything. Not even any soft soil patches. Come on. Come on. There we go. Uh, I could shoot out those cobwebs. Actually, you know what? I think I will. Just in case. Because you never know. There might be, like, an invisible one hidden inside a cobweb. But you know what? I don't even hear anymore in this room, so I might be done. Yeah, I definitely don't hear anymore, so... Ooh, arrows. Okay, we've got four minutes left on that silly timer, and as far as I know... Oh, there's only five skeletons left, and just one room to find them in. Uh, but you know, these are probably going to be... There's probably going to be, like, one skeleton that I won't be able to find, and it's just going to bring me down to the last second. And I just can't do it. I just can't do it. What time am I at, anyways? Oh, man. Seventeen and a half minutes. Okay, I'm definitely splitting this into two parts. Probably. Uh, can I kill you? No, that doesn't work like it did in Ocarina of Time, sadly. And there we go. And he doesn't drop a Skulltula, even though he is a Skulltula. 
God, you burn all those cobwebs. Can I break this? There's probably a spider in it. Because look, there's a spider logo on it. Oh, whatever. Uh, oh, this looks like a breakable one, though. Yes, awesome. And take it as one in one of these pots. No. And this wall doesn't make any abnormal sounds, so you can't bomb it. Uh huh. This is odd. Oh, pfft. wow. Man, they make. They, they put that one there intentionally just to make you feel like an idiot, because you're gonna be like looking around all inside the room and then it's like, where, where is it? I can hear one in here, but I can't find it. And then you just like turn around to leave because you give up. And then, bam, it's right in your face, just like this one. Ah, uh, did I just hear the clock tower? That's cobweb. And sure enough, there is one behind there. I really didn't even see that. I was just taking a stab. Or a shot, rather. Alright, anything inside the rafters, maybe? Um, you know what, I can get a better vantage point than this. In the middle of the room. No. Alright. So we're clear with the rafters, I guess. Um, can I... Maybe if I, like, climb up? You know, once you're done on the ground, the only way left to go is up. Yeah, there's a hookshot target up there, sure enough. Man. Alright, so, hopefully there's two up on the ceiling. Otherwise, I'm missing one somewhere, and I have no idea where. Right, there's one right there. Ow! One right there. And a heart. Lovely. Okay, so there's not another one up here. I don't even hear any more in this room. Did I clear out the room? Oh no, wait, I hear one now. Okay, so the last one is definitely in this room. But it's a matter of where is it? It's not behind that tarp. What is behind that tarp? It's probably like a grand piano or something. I wish I could play the piano. All I can play on the piano is like when the saints go marching in. It's like the easiest song ever. Oh boy. See, I told you to get down to this last one, and I just won't be able to find it. And it's probably really easy, too. I'm just being incredibly stupid. Ah, uh, what are these? These are like coffins or something. Coffin lids, at least. Oh, boy. I'm just taking a good glance around this room. I can still hear it definitely in here. Unless it's in, like, an adjacent room or something. Oh, man. Did I miss it in the rafters? Can I, like, look at them from the roof? Jeez. I've been so good with this place, and now it's come down to this one, I'm just being incredibly dumb. And I'm still wearing that stupid cat and hat. Take that off. That's annoying me. Link is starting to stick scare me. He's gonna be in my nightmares now. Thanks, Link. Oh, man. Can I, like, bomb one of those walls? Maybe? Doesn't sound like it. Oh man. Two minutes, twenty seconds left on that clock. That frickin' clock. Um, dude. What am I, what am I missing here? There. Uh. <laughs> am I that stupid? What the? <laughs> Duh! There was another one that looked exactly like that that I could break on the other side. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I was like even like glancing over this whole time too. I was like looking around. Damn it. <laughs> oh, you guys are probably just shouting your asses off at me. Well, I got it at least. So now we can get the hell out of here never to return. Hopefully. Uh, hopefully I didn't mess this up somehow, some way. Right, let's get out of here before the moon crushes us. Maybe we can get a last shot of the moon before it even gets close enough. It becomes an impact crater. Alright, let's get out of here. Go, Link, go! Oh, wait, this isn't a staircase. So it'll have to be a Goron, I assume. Here we go. Goron, go! And once you get to the top here, there should be a guy now that just appears. Uh, let's see, is he here? He most certainly is. Hello. And we'll talk. I heard loud noises coming from inside, and I was worried. But when I came to check it out, 
I never thought I'd find a place like this. Did you find this place? Uh, pfft. It's not too hard to find, anyways. It's just, like, dug into the cliffside. Okay, not for free, of course. I hope this will do. And he gives us the ja- What? Wait, what? Red rupee. And he's kissing it. For good luck. That's pretty nice. I don't think so. What? Your, what's my gi giant wallet? That's all you have on me. That's all I have on me. I hope it's enough. Uh, but dude. But dang. If only you could have done something too days no 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 <laughs> no no just 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 no 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 yes Okay, guys, I'm back, and my recording is up to, like, 25 minutes, so I probably split this into two episodes. So if I did, if then welcome to episode 63, even though it's pretty much the end of episode 63 now. Alright, so I went back and did this on the first day, but it only took, like, seven minutes this time. And now you get the giant wallet. Thank you. Aw, oh, this dude just trolled me hard last time. Well, I guess it was in the same video, but still. Man... Well, I'm glad to be done with that place. It's cool and everything, but, you know, it's just one of those places that you kind of want to get out of the way, move on to other, greater things. And believe me, next time we are moving on to greater things. Probably my favorite side quest in the game, as well as many of yours, I'm sure. So, we'll start with that next time. Thanks everyone for watching, and until then, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.